And basically what I'm talking about in being successful in business and being successful in joint venture, it's really knowing your company culture. And on, on the left side, these are the, the technical uh, type things, you know, business strategy, you, you know, financial, uh, but uh, business processes, which really include the organization, you should really have an organizational chart. They don't have to be real formal, but you got to know your, your, your employees need to know their responsibilities so they can be accountable. Um, information technology, marketing, sales, and the training part. And this other part is these soft issues that a lot of times um, we just don't take into consideration. You know, creating those policy procedures, what type of customer service you want to do, work and life balance, discipline and attitude of your organization. I, I said all that to say this right here. Is, oh, yeah, and risk. Uh, piecing it all together. You know, do that assessment of your business to find out your strength and your weaknesses and the opportunities that you have. And you're looking at, uh, you're looking at your financial health, you're looking at your company policy and procedures, your project delivery, and, and your leadership. And of course, your business development. And like I said, all this works together to build a successful business. And when you know major corporations come to to us and ask about certain businesses that they can subcontract to not just you know teaming and joint venture but subcontract to uh if we have not seen this in the business or we have not worked with them you know we will not recommend them because I, you know you hate to be tied to a recommendation that this company dragged the heels on this other company. So th all these things we've worked on with our clients, and some of them we're just now starting, going through this process. And it is not a short process. Most of them already got it. Some of them we're working on. And, and a lot of them, uh, all this will lead to this business development. Uh, what are some of the things we say, Curtis? The, Placing and providing, I can't think of the, what, it's, it, it's the marketer's stuff. <laughs> but, no, no, it's uh, I can't think of it, I'm drawing a blank. I look at Curtis and I draw a blank. <laughs> Never look at a marketer, because they, you know, they, they, say, they can't remember anything they say, because all they just busy is talking about. <laughs> Uh, I can't. <laughs> yeah, where's that? <laughs> I don't even know his name. <laughs> but uh, but all this lead, it, it, again, it's all piecing it all together to make this thing work right. It, it's not just going after a contract. I mean, you really have to create a strategy, and that's basically what we get we getting down to that word strategy, of going after federal work or your know, strategic strategy, and uh, identifying. What type of firms can you work with? And what type of firms you cannot work with? And, and, and what is that formula? And, and again, it takes us back to uh, what we started with is, um, is the, and, it, and you should be able to answer those questions when you go through all that. And I'll stop there because they, I think someone once said that it's always good to stop talking before they stop listening. So. <laughs> <laughs>